Hello, I'm Carrie Fell. Welcome to my studio. A couple Christmases ago, I was at a Christmas party that our Weavers Guild has, and we give each other gifts of handmade items. I, to my delight, received a tin full of this yarn. This was full, plus there was um, a few extras sitting on top. This is a mixture of silk and wool. 65% silk and 35% wool. I started dyeing it. This is a warp, enough for one scarf that I've dyed. I've already tied it onto the back beam of my rigid huddle loom. And I chose the colors to dye it to coordinate with another thrifty find of mine. This here is Noro um, made in Japan yarn. It is 50% wool and 32% silk and 18% viscose. So it's wool and silk similar to this. I ended up with a bunch of this after uh, attending a, an auction of Weaver's stuff, a retiring Weaver. So I have quite a few balls of this. So I dyed um, my first stuff in colors that I think will coordinate. So this is going to turn into a V cowl. For this project, I used my 7.5 dent heddle, which just means that there are seven and a half threads per inch. So if you count the number of slots and holes together in one inch, it's seven and a half. So um, that's the, that will give me the right spacing for this type of yarn. What I've also done because I have to keep counting over and over again, is I've marked the back side of my um, heddle. It says 73 ends. So what that means is I have a total of 73 holes and slots across here. So if I'm warping on a warping board or um, designing stripes or something in the warp, I know that I have 73 to work with. For my um, V cowl that I'm making right now, I know from experience that 72 ends will make everything work out properly. And I've done that to um, all my heddles. I've written how many slots and holes I have just to make things a little easier. So the warp is on the loom and I'm about to wind my Noro onto my shuttle. This one's my favorite. This one um, just feels the best in my hand. It has the nice, it just feels right. The wood is smooth and comfortable and uh, the yarn doesn't catch on it. I have a feeling it's quite old. The price tag says it was a dollar. And I'm sure uh, it's been a long time since you could buy a nice shuttle like this for a dollar. But what makes this extra special to me is this. This is my mother's name. Mother died about three and a half years ago. I miss her. I miss her dearly. She was an artist. Um, she wasn't a weaver, but she must have taken a weaving class at some point. It's one of my favorite things that I've inherited and I use it almost daily. Here is why I love using Noro. It's a variegated yarn, meaning it changes color along the length of it. So I get these interesting color changes without um, me having to do anything except just weave. So here's the beginning of the, the cowl I'm making. So the, it starts off with a, a brown 
and it gradually transitions into this bright purple. Looks like we're going to end up going to a dark purple here soon. And with the dyed warp, we're going to have more um, color play as the warp also starts to change down its length. This is going to be fun! Some of these colors and interactions are just amazing. Where the where the colors overlap, you know, the the deep purple and the brown, and then when the warp is brown and the weft is purple, and woo, so exciting! This is going to be a nice scarf. So I'm almost at the end of my warp and this ball of Noro has um, gotten me to exactly the right spot. I'm almost out of weft so that's perfect. Notice my warp, is, which is the combination of wool and silk, is a plied yarn. So generally, plied yarns tend to be a little stronger than single plies. Single plies can often pull apart. Um, I didn't test this. I just um, decided right up front that I was going to use the Noro singles as the weft. There's no, um, it's not put under tension, so it's a good choice for that. And uh, this plied yarn, the silk, of course, helps keep it really strong, too. So there's no way it's going to drift apart. But um, rather than test it for strength, I just went ahead and decided plied for warp and singles for weft. One of these times, I'll try some singles in the warp and see what happens. But I usually take the easy way out. So here's the finished feet cowl. The change of color in the warp and the weft made for a complicated looking uh, color scheme and change. And so you get all these different combinations of browns and purples and I wish you could smell this. It smells like silk and <laughs> that distinctive sm silk smell, which I have grown to love. Let's go see what it looks like on Houdina. There's a little hint of the original silk color in there peeking through. So this front panel is all the uh, gifted wool silk and then from here out and all looping around is the noro which is a little more lofty and definitely snug and warm gorgeous if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. The scarf is in my online store, which is in the description below. There's also a link to my website, carryfell.com. Thank you for watching.